Welcome back to the Nightmare of Painting. I'm your host, Bithead1000. You know how we do it here. We have 406 Nintendo tapes in the case. I'll open the door here and like the Judas that it is, it'll close on me. Okay. Uh, these are the rules. We we pick a random Nintendo tape and we have one hour to paint it. It's the Nintendo Hour of Power. Yes, I know. Are, are you as excited as I am? Let's get started. 406, we have the number written down right here, just so we don't forget. We are getting into, uh, you know, to the age now where forgetting is uh, basically what you do all the time. Here we go, we generate 154, 154. Let's do it. Here we go, as we know, each increment is 69, so I'll do the math here, 69 into 154. I know this is what you all tuned in to for, to watch me count, right? Uh, and 69, 69, that's 138, <coughs> 139, 140. 41, 22, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Oh boy. <sighs> I'm afraid to look. I really am. Uh, um. Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum. I don't know, God, why have you forsaken me? I know, well, that's what it is, so that's what we'll do. And uh, God, I don't know if we have enough red paint. <laughs> Let's get set up. All right, we have Vin Easel out here. We'll take one final sip of coffee. And then as you know, we have to be quick or be dead. And I'll drool on myself. How about that? Yes, that's right. We're back in uh, in middle school. Remember when kids used to uh, kids used to drool in middle school? I don't know if you're aware of that. All right, here we go. Yes. So we have. I guess we'll start with this border here. Why not? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. There's no fear on this show, is there? No fear of embarrassment. Embarrassment is good. We got just like that. We got ourselves a border. Who, who ever thought it would be that easy, huh? That's right. Now we just fill it in. That's right. You got a lot on your mind. You start painting. It's that simple. That everything goes away. That's right. Because it's impossible to think about anything else while you're painting. Did you know that? Yes, you eliminate all the white noise in your head. You know, that, that noise that tells you to, uh, I don't know, kill people? <laughs> that all goes away. That all goes away. This is it. We're, we're, we're like Poindexter from Revenge of the Nerds. Remember when he's painting the uh, the trim inside the Lambda house? I know, I know. All right, back to painting. Revenge of the Nerds was the it was the first movie where I actually saw uh, you know a girl's vagina on film. Very exciting stuff. Yes. It's kind of weird to get your first experience of seeing a naked woman through like a comedy movie. Because right after that, you, you see the the woman's vagina, then all of a sudden you see Poindexter shoot a rod through his pants. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? Hey, let's come on, guys. Let's use another $30 worth of red paint here, shall we? 
what do we call it? This is safety red in the business, right? That's right, safety red. This is what they paint all the bollards in Walmart with. Uh huh. Right now we're using blood transfusion red. Yes. And we'll squeeze, you, you gotta squeeze out the last drop, you don't know guys? Come on, I'm an expert at this. I can make toothpaste last, I don't know, 30 years. Oh! I wasn't expecting that to happen. That's ironic, we got blue paint on the blue painter's tape. Yeah, painting is dangerous. You didn't, that almost landed on my foot. Water. And it starts out light, right? Like, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's right, we wanna stay away from that red, buddies. <laughs> Ironically, there's a white borderline between the red and the corridor, so I think we're in good shape. gradient that's right like that and then it gets real dark at the bottom here whoa whoa that's right maybe a little more black our main mission is to try to get this paper as soggy as possible <laughs> So what we'll do is, that's it. That, then what we'll do, we'll clean the brush and keep it wet. And then we'll drag upward, right? We'll drag, no, we'll drag this way. Like that, huh? Oh boy. I don't know where we're going, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this corridor. So what we have here, we have a dock. We have a dark stripe here now to define this. Darker than that. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, that's what we call in the in the business of painting, we call that a huge mistake. That's right. But it's okay. That's okay. You gotta get accustomed to huge mistakes, right? Is that a straight line? Some black lines. I got news for you. We got the blackness of space in the background here. So we have a window back here that's looking out into the blackness of space. Backgrounds are boring. Isn't that the case? <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, oh God, another huge mistake. That's okay, that's okay. And then we'll repeat that over here. This is our corridor. Oh God, huge mistakes happening abound. I, too much water. So you're saying to me, uh, you know, Jesse, what do we have here so far? I don't know, uh, Bedlam? This is, uh, I guess the basic <laughs> idea. Jesus Christ, what did I get myself into? All right, now we're gonna, we're gonna jump on some real hubris here. We're gonna go for big moves. This is a big ball moment. This is where we strap on our big boy testicles. Cause I don't know where this is going. Yes, do we need clean water? That would probably be a good idea. Hold on, let's freshen up the water. There we go. As you know, we got some of my wife's paper towels here. She knew I was using this many paper towels, she'd send out an immediate uh, cease and desist letter. 
to the show. All right, this guy's got an arm. He's got an arm, and it goes a little something like this. Ah, ah, Noivus. Noivus, it's right here. All right? And then his head, his head is over here. All right, and it goes a little something like this. Yes. And then his big head is right there. And it goes over here. And then... Kind of like this, right? And he's got a big orange head. <laughs> All right, now we got like a, we got some ochre pants there. That's for sure. And look at all the real estate I used on that plate for that red. Not good. I got to learn how to control that better. All right, you can hear me uh, swallow my own mucus. Isn't that great? I know. Are you tuning out yet? I would be. Here we go. And then we got these these pants. He's got fancy pants. You didn't know? Yeah. So his knee, his knee, and his leg, like right here. And then, like a black boot, into a crotch. <laughs> got a nice little crotch there. He's got his dockers on. And this comes out. The crotch right here. And his knee. And then we're dealing with black boots. Coming at you. This guy's jumping. I don't know, he's doing the, the long torso jump. <laughs> is this torso, is his legs proportional to his torso? I don't know. I do not know where we're going with this. Lord help me. <laughs> he's got a big orange head. That's all I can tell you, his head's kind of orange. So he's got that big chin. This guy's got a big head. There we go. Oh God, God Almighty, what have we done? Okay, maybe when we get his lower arms in, things will make a little more sense. Maybe we got to do that just just for my own sanity. All right, maybe you, maybe the painting comes out awful. That's right. But what's wrong with awful? You know? It, sometimes awful can be good. I mean, if you can look at it and get a laugh, I mean, who's... Uh, I'm in. Okay. So we got this forearm here. This He's wearing these gloves. Oh, boy. Right? Elbow there. He's a gorilla. <laughs> he looks like a gorilla. What a... Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's not forget the yellow hair. This guy is like blonde hair, blue eyes. Uh, he's a hero. What do you want me to tell you? You need a hero? You got one right here. And what a head of hair. Oh my God. I would kill this kind of hair that's right this this luxurious blonde hair this guy is a superhero there's no question about it oh my god what did I do to him ah oh <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Donald Trump is the main character in uh, dash galaxy the hair comes down a little bit, right? We got hair. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yes. So there we have it. Um what oh, I just put my my paintbrush in my coffee. <laughs> you think that's gonna stop me from drinking it? No, sir. No, sir, as a matter of fact. 
That's all. Uh, please, with this coffee, uh, this coffee would kill, uh, I don't know, <laughs> any virus you put into it. Uh, here we go. Okay, so I think we it's time. Oh, my God. It's time. <laughs> I don't know what it's time to do. <laughs> I'm confused. I think we need to work on the backgrounds a little bit. Oh, we got these bats, okay? Orange bats. Yes. These guys are up to no good. That's the basic story here. There's one back here. You could just catch the wing. We have interdimensional aliens over here. Right by his leg. Dude, this guy's in, in a bad place right now. Yes. These aliens are right by his leg. As you can see. A rocket ship. And we're taking extreme liberties here. Going off into the border, into the borderline. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what did we do? What did we do? Uh, so, I think the name of the game here is we gotta get that yellow down a little better. It's so hard to cover with yellow. Oh, it doesn't want to cover. Look. That's right. So, what we're gonna do here now is I don't know. <laughs> Oh, this is where the panic sets in. You understand? Extreme panic. Where are we at right now? 50, 50 minutes. We're going we're gonna to start popping <coughs> some detail in, right? We're going to start popping some detail. We got a space station, guys. How about that? We've got a space station. And then we got... A ladder. This is this is like a. Fun. This is fun. Okay. And then it gets lighter, almost like a blue chrome. Like a blue chrome. Ready? So where we these are like barrels of toxic waste. Yes. And we have more storage containment over here. And I think the idea here is we want the background to try to be out of focus because we want to see uh, the least amount of it as possible. And then there's yellow. Yes, this is where we get sassy here. This is nice. Look at this. The yellow, the yellow marking. Marking the barrels. This yellow doesn't want to cover. Always have a problem with yellow paint. This is like our... Uh, a window here. We have white with a nice white line around our window. This is a very expensive window. Anytime you have a window that separates, uh, you know, you from outer space, that's an expensive window. Oh, yeah. Who's down for the logo? I'm, I'm down. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. This is crazy, but I'm going for it. Now, how do we approach this? I tell you how we approach this. This we got a black outline. Yes, we got a black outline, so we could do it like that. Here's where we go crazy. You feeling it, guys? We're gonna go crazy here. All right, we're just gonna go for it. 
the big G, the big G right here. Galaxy dash will work backwards now, right? won't we? Right? Because the H comes. Wall Wee. That is some hubris right there, guys. <laughs> There's a goddamn spaceship. I just noticed that now. There's a spaceship down here? In the window? You gotta be kidding me. This is a mother. <laughs> okay. So what I think happened here is, I believe we started to get a little too tight. So we're gonna get... Boy, I wish this yellow would cover. Come on. Come on, yellow. You need to cover better. My yellow is is really aggravating me at this point. <laughs> I'm not used to working on an easel, so. Apparently there are paint drips involved when you work on an easel. I mean, move over Captain Kirk. Look at this uniform, huh? Oh yeah. It's kind of hard to hide from aliens when you're in this bright red uniform, right? He's got a pair of sunglasses on. Cross between sunglasses and, and goggles. You got some black here. But And this guy, this guy's got an orange friggin' face. I don't know how to explain it. It's an orange face. I'm just gonna give him a, an orange damn face. We got some black down here, the mouth of this thing. This thing's got a big gape and more. All right, now we got a planet. A planet in the background. Okay. Planet. It's more blue though, right? Let's see how far we get with this. We got a planet. We're gonna, put, we're gonna put some stars in though, aren't we though? Water down to the max. Okay, there we go, there we go. And then we need some stars here, right? That, 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 that. Whoa, this, it's flipping back at me. Oh, oh, come on. Look, a distant galaxy. <laughs> come on, that, there we go, there's some stars. That. That, that. Some stars on the radar. I think we got this bad guy back here. He's got teeth. We don't want to get into too much detail though, right? Black eyes. Like a doll's eyes. It's coming for you, buddy. He's coming for you. He actually has these rings here. These rings. This is like this is like a battle bot. You're being attacked by a battle bot. Let's face it at this point. All right, but let's not get away. We got a uniform here. Coming down here. Jesus! 
I'll be amazed if this game makes it through the show. It's like a hatch on pajamas. <laughs> He's got a little hatch here. So when he goes out to the bar, all the ladies can see his hairy chest. And then he's got the buttons. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. This is neat. That knee is very small, right? It's the top of the knee, baby. It's light. It's actually kind of light right here, too. Where did that black come from? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. No, we can't have that. Can't have that. Aye. Yep. And guess what? We got light on the bottom of the boots. Then we go over and we're going to have to throw some white into these gloves. These gloves disappeared on us, didn't they? This guy's running for his life, I hope you know that. No question about it. Now, what's nice about these gloves, it has this nice light blue. And it's like a this, this a blue. It's like a this a type of blue. got white on the boots. Might as well do that now. These are shiny boots guys, that's for sure. And he's got a logo. He's got a logo on his shirt. Jesus. A badass little logo on your on your uniform there, buddy. Okay, I think it's time we work on the face. This is where things get really scary. Uh, so we're going to use orange and brown. I think that's the way to go. So here we go, Mr. Orange Face. He's got this type of thing coming down here. Very strong jaw. Into this butt chin. Those more red, more orange. We're applying the rouge. We got rouge here, right? Just like up here. Okay. We gotta put these eyes in. There we go, this is gonna be critical. He's got black eyes, I got doll's eyes. That's right, and we could do the, uh, the white of the eyes then. And then he's got an eyebrow. 
I don't think you're supposed to do the white of the eye second. Ask me what I'm doing at this point, and I'll tell you, I have no idea. We got a cheekbone here. It's light. I mean, I might have just turned our hero into a black man, which is okay. And then we blend, right? And then we blend, we take a dry brush and we blend. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's not dry. We take a dry brush and blend. That's right. That's right. I take a dry brush. And we blend. <laughs> Look at that ch superhero chin. This guy has a superhero chin. Do you know that? Okay, the, gl the goggles are a lot darker. that out okay now let's let's work on this hair a little bit while we got this pulled up because a lot of interesting things happening here okay so he does have this awesome blonde hair we don't want to look like he just rolled out of bed do we he kind of looks like he just rolled out of bed and then this black streaking through there not really no. <laughs> that was a bad idea. I need a, a, a looser brush than that. I think we want a logo this one. We want to go for the logo. Yes. Yes, even though I'm not too happy with the spacecraft. Let's do the logo, which is black. It's black into blue so we'll go and then so we're gonna have to do white on the bottom because nothing else is gonna cover Lettering is where the rubber meets the road, guys. Oh, yeah. This is where you grow the testicles. If I was in this unknown galaxy being chased by monsters, I'd be worried. He's not worried. He's kind of smiling, right? He's got a smirk on. He kind of looks like George Clooney. Not here, <laughs> but up here. Yeah. You know, if I was smart, uh, if I was smart, I'd do these birds too in white. Look at that, space seagulls. That's right. They're a real problem. Space seagulls. I think it would be a good idea at this point to hammer through this logo. It doesn't go like this. Here we go, nothing to it. And then we go to the orange. Oh boy. Blue to black. Let's see how this works out. This is like a blue. The blue's got to be darker. Yes.
Okay, now we hit it with a what's supposed to be a dry brush. We're gonna have to rely on white and black to bail us out. That's the bottom line, guys. Okay, there we go, and then there's an outline. Of black. We have little things of blue here. that dash galaxy the tops all kind of outlined in black there we go okay that's all we can do for this logo oh my god I got a headache right now with this logo all right so let's do this it seems as though we have some some vents. Number one, we got a white outline here. Maybe we should do that. We should work on that. Kind of clean that up. We got a border line. Okay. Now, let's bring these birds here. We got these birds, right? And they need orange. I was being chased by, by sparrows. <laughs> These do not look like pterodactyl. <laughs> oh, I forgot the thing on the head. This is, I don't know. We're in the, in the future. It's a robotic snake and pterodactyls flying around. This is a nightmare. And a red in the beak. I can hear these things squealing already. Ah! We could finish up details on him. Number one, his hair is bothering me. Look at this. He just joined the hair club for men. What can I tell you? What a hairdo. <laughs> okay. The bottom of this has vents. We have vents down here, right? So we got to put those in. And there were two hoses. One went up like this. Right, to a connection point. Oh, it's dripping. There's a connection point right here. Maybe they got a little black, a little tongue in there, right? Something, right? Now we work on his uniform a little bit here because he does have, we gotta add, this here this has got to go in somewhere because we got to help this uniform out a bit all right then we'll do that and then he's got a belt here it's a gold belt he's got a gucci belt 
Yeah, he's got a dot in the middle. And we got to bring the, the eyes to life, right? How do we do that? A little white paint. Mine will clean up the red down here, right? Ah. <laughs> it's not going to cover, is it? All right, we'll try to cover that up. Well, here you have it. I mean, <laughs> we did our best, but that's what it's all about. It's all about learning. And with speed, we learn how to paint faster. So this is an excellent learning experience, giving ourselves a limited amount of time. This is gonna be wonderful to look back and say, wow, look at how horrendous the paintings were and now you know, moving forward when I get like, I don't know, a hundred in, uh, you'll say, look, they're a little less horrendous now. Because we learned, didn't we learn so much from doing this painting? We learned and that's how it goes. You get better, that's how it is with painting, guys. You get better, I encourage everybody to try painting. Because no matter how horrible it comes out, it, cut, it gets better and better. And your interpretation of how it looks, I think, is the most fantastic piece of a uh, part about a piece of artwork. It really is. It doesn't have to be perfect. As a matter of fact, if it's perfect, it's boring. But your consistent interpretation on how something looks through your mind is what's so special about artwork. So do it. Do it. It doesn't have to look perfect. Perfect is boring. That's right. All right, guys, let's give this one away. Let's give this one away. Okay, we have 634 Patreons. All right, my random number generator is not working here. I don't even know why you guys need to see the random number generator, because I, then I gotta go downstairs and check. So let me go find out who the winner is right now. I'll go downstairs, okay. John Butler, you are the winner. That's right, John Butler, you are the winner of this cover art of this very mediocre NES game. I, I don't even know if it's mediocre. I never played it before. I assume it is because I never, I never played it. So there you go. Oh, we forgot to sign it. We forgot to sign it. So let's do that right now. There you have it. There you have it. All right, that's it for today. Wow, that was a long hour. <sighs> we'll see you guys next time.